How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Terminator Gray Day. Today, we're here at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're at the Shelby American booth. Chris, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. That was a lot of fun, that tour oh, over yeah. there at the factory, but um, is that that new Speedster I've been hearing so much about? Yes, sir, it is. Our new 2021 Super Snake Speedster. It's going to be a limited edition car, only 98 units. Gonna be really? Fun. Just 98? Do you mind if you give us a quick tour of oh, this yeah. thing? It looks pretty cool in person. Yeah, this one is, seems to be drawing all the guys in today. They walk by and they beeline right for it. And rightly so, you look at the aggressive lines on this car. The Speedster comes with a new tonneau top. We also did the wide body package on this one and the lines just really pop on it and it seems to be a big hit today. And you said, so so it's a few more inches wider front and back, so kind of like the 500 front end, but you've got your own special vents right there, right? Exactly, but this is actually a new feature of the 21 Super Snake. Same with this one, which is a non-wide body. We do put the wide body front fenders on this year. So if you want a wide body, a 2021 Super Snake, it's a back half only as if it were a 350 or 500. Really? Now back, you have a how wide tires? Oh, back here, it's a 345 30 on our Super Snake wide body wheels. And these are actually made by HRE nowadays. So uh, we're stepping up the game. Do you guys change out the brakes? Because the rotors look a bit different. And you have Shelby on, on the calipers as well. Oh yeah, these are uh, Brembo GT. So it's a true motorsports grade brake. Really? We put these on all the Super Snakes. In case you want to get out to the track and really push it hard. This is the type of stuff you want to have on your car. And then, so so this is the new design. Wow, you know, it kind of gives me a strange vibes in the sense of it could be like a mid-engine car looking like this, the Speedster setup. And so this basically goes over the aspect of the Mustang GT or the, the Super Snake. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be an option for any convertible Super Snake for 21. Really? We do this tonneau cover and it's a pretty neat little piece because this is made so that if you get caught in a pinch and it starts raining, this piece can actually come apart here. There's a side really? on the left, there's a side on the right. You got little push buttons so you can pop these out. That's really store cool. Them in the trunk, and then the full top is operational, so you can put the top up so there. It's kind of like the, uh, the the 500, you know, hood when it comes to the push pins pushing oh, yeah. down on that. Oh, and yeah. I mean, honestly, it, it does look really cool in the sense of those stripes. Are they are they painted? This one does have the painted stripes. Really? That is an option on, on the 21 snakes, and uh, you know our paint shop they really hit a home run every time. We used wow. a. Um, tuxedo black stripe on there that's kind of our black of choice right here that, that that is so cool yeah i think this will be pretty popular because it's just gonna be so different for everyone to see out there and speaking of that look at the, the design was this actually set up in the sense that you guys were keeping in mind of airflow efficiency when it comes to the cabin the wind flying around and also out back Absolutely. It's uh, got some great aesthetics to it and it is functional there. It helps cut through the slipstream there. So you can on. track with this on? Uh, you know, most tracks probably aren't going to let you go on there <laughs> because there's no rollover protection. That's true. <laughs> it may let you do a parade lap. That, that, that's if, funny. If you want to go to the track, we're still going to recommend getting into a coupe. Hey, Sam here. You know, I see a lot of guys even asking for convertible 202500s, and I'm going like, it's a track car. You know, you want to keep keep the coupe, Allison, in my opinion. Diehard guys like you are still going to want to get the coupe so that you can go out there and push it hard on the track. Regardless, though, you can track a Super Snake all day long. The thing is set up right. Absolutely. That is so cool. So, so this being a Super Snake, again, if you guys don't know, do you mind if you give us a rundown of what we're dealing with under the hood? Also, is there new exhaust and interior components? Yeah, so the uh, Super Snake, we start out with a Mustang GT. We bring it in the shop, strip it down. We upgrade the suspension. Most of our cars are going to be magnetized, so we get springs, sway bars. We recalibrate the suspension tune. We upgrade the brakes, the Brembo GTs that we were just looking at on all four yeah. corners. Uh, then we want to address the power. We go under the hood. We do a full cooling package, a new CNR radiator. Can you pop it? Yep, absolutely. And we'll get it Right, so there is the beast. Five liter Coyote with a three liter Whipple supercharger. It's bumped up to 825 horsepower. Uh, upgrade the cooling, because guys are gonna be pushing this thing hard. They wanna see what 825 horsepower yeah. will do. <laughs> so we got the CNR radiator, the coolant reservoir. We've got- and Can you customize too. when it comes to the supercharger itself, but like different colors for different cars? Well, if you wanna customize the color of the blower, the dealers typically don't offer that. You gotta reach out to me at Shelby American and we can get you dialed in with the 
custom color to match your stripe or just your favorite color, whatever it may be. But as well, are those adjustable ca adjustable camber plates? Yeah, Do those you? are our caster camber plates. They're Shelby. Brand, Shelby, that tops off our spring and sway bar combo on there. And again, this is a Magna Ride suspension car. I heard too online, so when it comes to, if you want the ultimate spec for the track, you guys do offer a higher level suspension setup, right? We do, and those are going to be special orders. So if you okay. are looking for that, guys like you are probably going to want to get with the dealer and send me a non Magna Ride car so we could do a Penske coilover oh, suspension. So it's Penske coilover suspension. That is so cool. And plus, in the interior, so I can see how you guys really change the, the middle of the insert. So it kind of it looks like a snake now, which is really cool to see. It's a new interior for 21. We're stepping it up just a little bit more. We want it to be something different and uh, offer something exciting. I gotta ask you, but not if you start it up. Love to hear this. Absolutely. Thing. If they let us out here, we'll be we'll be quick. No <laughs> worries. Get this baby fired up. Alrighty, here we go. First startup on the new Shelby Super Snake Speedster. I gotta see if there's any supercharger wine. <laughs> Sounds really good to get. You gotta invite me next time you guys go out to the track. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to. We can have some fun. Guys. Another one of the unique features of the new 21 Super Snake Speedster are custom sill plates and embroidered mats there. And if you don't get a Speedster, does this trans does this say Super Snake? Yeah, it say Super Snake, of course. That, that's awesome. Hey, you know what? One other thing. I recall you mentioning in Vegas when we're walking around checking out some of the really cool cars even see my old super snake that if you guys will have an actual fully built wide body 2020 GT 500 is that is that true oh yeah come on over we'll take yeah a look. yeah okay guys well here we go first look on that pretty busy weekend oh yeah absolutely we've been uh, jamming out here and uh, it <laughs> seems to be going really good these cars are hitting some really good prices through the uh, block so we're pretty excited. Well, they're auctioning off the VIN 1 Bronco right now. Oh, that thing this is pretty is, sweet. I like the blue. This is sweet too. Oh my gosh. So fully built, right? Signature edition 202500. Yeah. It's going to be one of the first, right? I've never seen one this, actually all put together. This is the first. This is the one just uh, two weeks ago was all over in our workshop there. <laughs> we were checking out this hood, which was sitting on a rack. Uh, we were checking out the interior, which is now in the car. I love the finish on it. And it looks almost like it could be stock the way it all blends in so well with the carbon fiber and the paint job and again this is a carbon fiber hood right so it's oh, gonna yeah. weigh even less in the stock dry carbon hood. fiber hood dry carbon the good stuff so then when it comes to a wide body 500 like we were saying earlier so the wide body stays in the front end over the back that's where you see the difference absolutely so we didn't want to mess with the front end of the car it's just as wide as ours but we do need to accommodate the 13 inch wide wheel out back 13 inches oh my gosh there's, and there's still a little more room if you look at this 350 we're running a 21 inch wheel on this really one, and this is a 355 <laughs> Oh my wheel. gosh. Are you guys noticing any increased levels of just grip when it comes to launching the car, even on track? You got Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. With the independent rear suspension and these big meets, that definitely helps out in the curves. Yeah, I would love to see what it would do like in the quarter mile with 345s out back in the DCT, the dual clutch, right? And speaking of this model, you guys um, obviously did something underneath the hood because it wouldn't be a signature edition, right? Oh yeah, we uh, upped the game under there too. We upgraded the intercooler and the heat exchanger. We put a, a little bit smaller pulley on there, all the while maintaining the factory tune. That bumps the power up a pretty modest 40 horsepower, getting us just over 800 horse. And the DCT's handled just fine. It feels completely just DCT tuned in well. is uh, unaffected by these power increases. That That's the good thing. And like you were saying earlier, you can opt for a painted over the top strike, which is cheaper than the, the original option. Absolutely. And this wing is different too, actually, isn't it? Yes. This is, you guys paint it to match the car. Oh, wow. That's the one thing, you know, that we uh, try to help out what the customer wants. So he wanted to paint the spoiler, which typically is black. And then we also put the stripe through right on top so of it. So if you want to make a one of one spec version. Oh yeah. You can go further and say, well, I want special colored wings and also maybe even carbon fiber on the, the middle hood then is that possible maybe oh uh, not yet okay. but i'm <laughs> hoping that it's going to be coming out soon that's awesome you check this one out though we did uh, paint all the brake calipers on you there did? with the nice big shabby calipers oh this is the new wheels too right yeah, so twister orange on the calipers with tuxedo black shelby letters and this is an official shelby american wheel oh yeah this one is our wide body uh 
This one is actually all of our signature editions. So I've got two to, versions. I've got to ask you, I was wondering, so what happens if you have like a carbon fiber track pack variant? Um, do you, so if you were to send that in, can you get a signature package for that? We could definitely do a carbon fiber track pack, but you're probably not going to want to get into the wide body because once you do that, it's going to make those carbon wheels pretty useless. And then yeah, you have no reason to... <laughs> your friends <laughs> might like it though because you probably can unload it with uh, one of your buddies. <laughs> Overall though, yeah, it, it looks really, really cool with that GT4 style, you know, S hood up front and even the special signature edition badges are on the side and then can, can we open the, the door is it unlocked yeah absolutely let's go turn on the driver's side over here so wow. these are those trick recaro seats that you were yep. checking out in the factory wow it's all installed now nice little touches there with uh, the orange accents to really so matches that is, that, is that a watson roll cage out back oh yeah watson gotta get the best oh, that is and then over there in the corner, that is the official um, chassis number for the Signature Series. Actually, the, the CSM number, right? Yes, sir. Carroll Shelby Mustang number. So again, yep, special Shelby. Oh, that carbon place. fiber sex under the hood. Oh my yeah. gosh, look at this thing. And also, yeah, that, that is matte carbon, right? Wow, yeah, yeah. dry it's carbon. Dry carbon hood, nice lightweight. Had to change awesome. out the shock to accommodate the lighter weight. It's so much lighter than Really? It is. And see some I noticed that was different over here. That is so everything is about weight savings again. That is really impressed. And you have the Shelby official caps all over the place inside the engine bay. Most wow. of the other upgrades though, you're not gonna see other than the upgraded pulley. The intercooler sits underneath the uh, engine hat. And then we also have the heat exchanger which sits down in front of the fascia. So and then the lineup just keeps going and going of all the Shelby Mustangs. Hey, Chris, really appreciate the tour. Absolutely. Um, appreciate you. The Speedster and the wide body GT500 Signature Edition, which is really funny thinking about it because having the original Signature Edition from 2014, it's crazy seeing the next reincarnation of that. But um, if you guys did want to pick one up or either one of them up um, and order your own spec version of it, make sure to reach out to uh, Chris. He's an awesome guy. And do you mind if you let them know the. Uh, contact yeah absolutely you can reach me at my email it's chris r at shelby.com so then what do we have right here chris well you can, know, can we order one of these the big chatter lately is about all the electronic technology like the new mach e and you know shelby we embrace it so we've got the new electric shelby right here